Hey, what's up? It's Paul from Guitar World here at the 2019 NAMM Show in Anaheim, California. And I am here with JC, hey. the brand new minted leader of Gibson Brands. And this is an exciting and energetic time because uh, Gibson has gone through a bit of some interesting times. And here you are about to breathe, let's say, new life into the brand and, and have a new vision. So, you know, we've been synonymous with creating and shaping sound for 125 years. Mm -hmm. And that's across every generation, every genre, every gender. And so when we look back at our sort of historic, storied, iconic past, we say, you know, what's really going to be our quest and our mission moving forward? It's to right. sort of shape, create sound through future generations and genres and genders. and and. If the last few months is an indicator of our state of readiness to uh, start hitting our mission, I feel pretty good right now. Your background is, was, is you know, president of Levi's, which is also sure. a legendary, iconic brand. And here you are now at the helm of this iconic brand, Gibson. And, and, and how do you feel about that? And what do you feel about, like, what's, what do you feel is your mission to kind of really bring it back and make it just even bigger than and better yeah. than ever. It's, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I was at Levi's for many years and, uh, and so proud of what we as a team accomplished there. And it's now, I mean, Levi's stands is one of the leading lifestyle brands. It's authenticity. Mm -hmm. it's, it's introduced itself to a new generation. While at the same time, it's kept its loyal Levi's fans like wanting more Levi's. And guess what? That's an awesome playbook for an iconic American brand like Gibson to say, how do we give our loyal fans, the Gibson fans who love us, never left us, how do we keep them in Gibson? And guess what? We got a lot of cool guitars here to show them. How do we get the fans to say, hey, what's going on at Gibson? I kind of left you. Am I coming back? Guess what? Come back and check it out because we got more for you. And then what we're all most excited about is that next generation fan. The fan that sees that music is cool. They want to play something and they get introduced to it, whether it's through Epiphone or for Gibson. And we get that leap fan that can leap into, uh, into guitar playing and into Gibson or Epiphone. And then all of a sudden you got a fan base that's re-energized again. Yeah, it's cool. It's always fun that, you know, like Gibson is just the kind of brand that just never seems to go out of style. And, and not only that, it's just that you have all these really some of the greatest guitar shapes yeah. and, and, the way you, and the way you're able to sort of make them always interesting every year. I, I imagine there's, there's a, lot, a lot of things that you're cooking here when we get to it yeah. to see how, how you've reimagined or maybe kind of kept the, sort of the things that we love most about Gibson and some of the things that maybe we want to tweak on it. Yeah, and I think that's always the, the, the absolute balance point when you have an iconic brand is how do you, how can you stay true to your DNA mm -hmm. and, and really when, when you call it classic, like make your classics classic. Yeah. Be true to the historic spec. Go back to those eras that everyone reimagined what could have been today and deliver it. Yeah. And then at the same time, I do think there's a, an opportunity for us to take some of the modern dynamics of technology and parts of innovation and build those into guitars that says, hey, is there's a contemporary approach to playing and listening and creating sound. There's a classic approach and Gibson is perfectly positioned to deliver both of those. Being iconic and innovative at the same time is what our job is here. And nothing happens more to deliver against that vision than when someone gets up on stage and play. And our, our vision is so simple. We want to be the most relevant, mm -hmm. we want to be the most played, mm -hmm. and the, we want to be the most loved guitar brand again. Yes. And if the last 125 years is an indicator that we can, we can do that, I think we're on, on the right path. 